Okay guys, I am back with another video. As I always say at the beginning of all of my videos, but I'm back with another video. For you guys that are new here, thank you so much for stopping in and checking out my channel. To all of my old subscribers, thank you for coming back. Um, and make sure you are subscribed and turn your notifications on. So this video, I am going to be doing a palette collection. So I'm like looking at my desk and it's like ridiculous. I'm going to be doing a palette collection. I actually saw a, another YouTuber that I watch. Her name is Lon Ye. I don't know if she's like the first person who ever do it, but it's the first person that, whose video that I watched in particular. I know everybody wants credit for whatever they started, but look, this is who I watched. I watched Lon Ye's video and I released that through, I think it was like 25 minute plus video. I sat through the entire thing um, and I decided to, I like was like looking through myself I'm like oh crap I have a whole bunch of eyeshadows as well um, or palettes I say I'm gonna go through all of them um, I did do I'm gonna show you guys my Juvia's Place palettes as well I did do a separate video kind of going through each of the Juvia's Place palettes individually because I do have all of them um, and kind of explaining what I think and what are must have so I will have that video um, up after this one so just so you guys know that I did film that but I'm gonna show them in this video as well because they're eyeshadow palettes as well and they're part of the collection um, but I'm not going to be as detailed with the Juvia's Place ones. so if you guys see me kind of like you know go quickly through the Juvia's Place ones that is why because I did do a separate dedicated video for the Juvia's Place eyeshadow palettes okay with that said let's get into the video grab your water grab your tea grab your wine grab your sandwich because this is probably going to be a very long video so just just we're just going to start there and I'm just going to let you guys know it's going to be a long video so just get it together um, I'll try I'm not I'm not gonna make any promises anyway let's jump into the video. okay so I'm gonna kind of start with kind of like my smaller compact kind of palettes just because I don't know that's what's in front of me right now so I'm going to start with some of those. Um, some of these are kind of new. Some of them I haven't even used yet. Um, some of them are probably going to go into garbage after this video. I don't know. But we'll see. But sorry, there's there's a couple of them that's still in boxes. Lord Jesus. Okay, so I'm, I'm not going to be going in any particular order. I'm just going to kind of go as they are in front of me because I do have like a lot of my palettes like in little bins so I'm just gonna go through each bin with you guys um, so the first one that I'm gonna start with I'll actually start with um, I'll start with this one because these are palettes that I haven't you guys have never seen on my channel or you haven't seen them in a while on my channel um, I'm gonna start with this one this is the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette I remember when this came out way back when um, I really only picked it up because I had the Naked palette which I was obsessed with and I just picked this up because I think this came out after that um, I really didn't use a lot of the shades in this palette at all I think um, the most that I used was the shade crave over here on the end and I used faint a lot as well it was a pretty good transition color but not like my it was like kind of like how I used to do my makeup um, but other than that I didn't really use a lot of the, a lot of these I used Venus a lot for a brow bone highlight but like these three mattes here I like one of them, actually Foxy and W or O S, like these two. I didn't. I never even used them at all. Um, but I still keep it because um, I want to, and I don't like throwing stuff out. But I actually may end up giving this to a friend down the line at some point. But um, this is the Naked um, Basics palette. Next up is this. Really, I don't even know what this one is called. I think it was the Roller Girl palette. I honestly only kept this one it's only a four shader it's a four shader palette literally I've literally only kept it and I'm just gonna zoom in so you guys can see is because the black girl like that's literally the only reason like the black girl on roller skates on the cover is the only reason sorry that I still have this palette I literally have not I've used like two of the colors oh it actually had one of my favorite Urban Decay colors in here is called Dark Horse um, so it's just a four 
four things these these don't even all go together like I still need like some mats um, so I couldn't even take this with me anywhere um, it came with the eyeliner as well which I've never used um, but I literally I'm not throwing this away strictly based off of the fact that there is a black girl on the cover that's the only reason I have not gotten rid of it so yeah um, the next up this is I'm pretty sure this is like a knockoff matte palette let me know if I'm wrong I don't know but I remember I ordered this off of eBay I used to have so many more of these but it is this Hello Kitty Mac palette let me know if Mac ever came out with a collection like this I don't know I know I ordered them off of eBay I'm sure they were knockoff this was probably like over this is definitely over 10 years ago um this was it was called it's 12 color it says M003 was the name of it for this type of one and I love this palette um it's a 12 pan. I love this thing. I used to have about six of these, like different shades. Um, but I this is the only one that I actually kept. I gave some to friends and some of them I threw away. But I just love the colors. I don't know. But the shades were really, really pigmented in it. So I keep it. I do like it. I haven't reached for it in a very long time. But I do not want to get rid of it. So, yeah. Um, the next three are some palettes from Sleek Makeup. Um, they look like these. I don't know if they still make these. But I've ordered them a long time ago when I first started getting into the whole like palettes. But I really wasn't in a position to spend like $50 on the palette so I had like a lot of these sleek ones which they are all 12 pan as well as well as well as well these are all 12 pans as well the first one is the sunset palette I really really like this palette I use this a lot in the summer it has some very nice bright colors um, a couple of mattes a couple of neutrals I like that one a lot I think they still have that one this was this one here was actually my favorite ever I use this one all the time this is the bad girl palette love this one for smoky eyes the this purple is bomb like these this whole roll right here is just this whole palette just everything i used every color in here except for this one i don't really like bright whites like this but this whole palette was bomb um really really great pigment i use that green and that black and that purple a lot i hope they still have this if they do definitely check this out i would try try to have all of these linked somewhere down in the description box for you guys because that palette that palette's bomb like I used to have more of these sleek ones but I gave them away to my mom this is another one this is the storm palette um I really liked this one as well super pretty colors definitely like neutral sorry they have really big mirrors in these um super nice colors super nice pigments payoff love this one as well um yeah, these sleep palettes were really good. They were inexpensive. I think they were like 13 bucks or 12 or 13 bucks. I don't really remember. It's been a long time, but they were pretty inexpensive. Next up, we're going to go through some like classics like the Naked 3 palette. Um, this is actually my least. No, this isn't my least favorite. I have the Naked 2, but it's in my makeup kit, and I don't feel like pulling that out. Um, but this. Honestly, besides the first one, the other ones that came out were kind of like, eh, okay. Um, but this one wasn't bad. I think this was the rose gold kind of one, I think. Um, I liked a lot of these shades. They were nice. Like, I liked Mugshot a lot. I liked Trick. Um, ooh, this one's falling out. Oh, girl. I'm going to throw you out. Um, but I didn't use this a lot. Like, I didn't, I didn't kind of like the tones of this. I literally only bought it as a collector. Um, but I wasn't really too fond of a lot of the colors. I probably liked about, just looking at the pan, I probably used about three of the colors out of this entire thing. But, nonetheless, I'm still going to keep it, though. Because you never know, and yeah. Um, now, my favorite of all the Naked palettes from Urban Decay, it was this one right here, the Naked um, this was the original. I love this one. It had the velvet um, packaging. I love this one. I used the hell out of this one back in the day when it first came out. This was like the first expensive, like over $15 palette that I bought. So I love this one. I'm not getting rid of it. I'm keeping it forever until forever. Like, I don't know. Like, I love this palette. I loved, um, I used almost every single, actually I used all the shades in here at some point. I use this shade Buck a lot. This was like my go-to transition color for every look. Half-baked, bomb gold um, pigment. So I liked this palette a lot. I'm never getting rid of this. Like, I'm never, ever getting rid of that. I don't know. This one I also bought just because I was a collector and the shades didn't speak to me. 
as much, but I bought it anyway. It's the Urban Decay Naked Smoky Palette. Um, I did like a few of the shades in here, like Radar, Dirty, Dirty Sweet, yeah, Dirty Sweet, um, Smolder, Whiskey. I did like Whiskey a lot. It was a great transition color. I don't want to blind you guys with the mirrors. I'm sorry. Um, so it had some good shades, but I don't know. I just never reach for it. Like, I, I use it, like, a couple of times when I first got it, but I never, ever, ever really reach for it. This one is another kind of cult classic, I guess. It's the Lorac Pro Palette. This is like one of those palettes, it was, it was dirty, look, it's been through it. This used to be my go-to palette a lot, especially this shade Espresso. I used to use on my brows a lot when I used to use powder to do my brows. Um, the, the colors are great to me. This is kind of like one of those hit or miss palettes. A lot of, a lot of, you either like it or you don't. I liked it. I didn't have a problem with it, but girl, I think it's time for me to throw this out. It's all cracked. Okay, look at it. I use, I use her, like... When I first got her, I, I used her a lot. So, yeah, we're, we're, I don't know. I need to throw it away, though. It's kind of a little busted. Farther. So, that was my first bin. Now, moving on to the second bin. Oh, I have one more from that bin. Actually, it's not a bin. This is another Urban Decay. This was the Dangerous Palette. Um, it looks like this. It came in, like, a little zipper case thing. I just like the packaging, and I did like the shades in here. Um... The two that I used the most was Deeper and Loaded. I've never even opened the lip gloss. Um, these shades were actually really pretty. This, like, kind of, it's magnetic, so it comes out um, like that. But I like it. I'm not getting rid of it because it's kind of like, kind of a collector's item for me. So, just like the Roller Girl palette one. So, I, I just keep it. I haven't reached for it in years. Um, but I'm going to keep it because, you yeah. <laughs> know, that's what makeup orders do. Okay? So... Okay, so next up is this palette. It's really inexpensive. I, you actually can get it from Walgreens. It's from a brand called Koki. This is their unearthed eyeshadow palette. I actually like kind of like this palette. It has some pretty decent colors. The pants are really small. Honestly, I think it's like 10 bucks or something like that at Walgreens. Um, the shades are actually really, really pretty. I liked it a lot. Um, when I use it, I think I swatched them on my Instagram. So if you guys want to see swatches of this, definitely check out my Instagram. But I really, really like this palette. So I'm definitely like keeping it. Super pretty shades, super simple, definitely everyday shades. Real small, petite palette, but really great quality. Next is the only Wet n Wild palette that I have left. I used to buy these all the time. Um, again, when I wasn't spending that much money on palettes. This one is the Blue Had Me At Hello palette. It's one of their 8-pan kind of size. Wet n Wild usually had really good eyeshadow um, uh, palettes. Um, I really just kept this one. I gave a lot of these to my friends um, and my mom and stuff. But I really liked this one. Um, and honestly, none of my other friends were going to wear this eyeshadow color anyway because I'm the only one that's crazy enough to do it. So I kept it. Um, this this black was really nice. It has some really pretty shades. I haven't used it in a long time, but I'm definitely going to need to move this to the front because I love the colors in this. Another inexpensive palette option is Wet n Wild for sure. Next one is another one. This is from Urban Decay. This is the Electric Palette. Girl, when I got this palette, I did a few looks with this. Um, love the pigment on this. Um, I believe these are like pressed pigments. I don't know. Whatever it is. Yeah, they're pressed pigments. Yeah, pressed pigment palette. Um, I loved, loved, love these. I haven't used them in a long time, but I love them. I'm not getting rid of this. I, look, girl, whatever. I'm still not giving her away, but this is the palette. Super bright colors. A lot of payoff. I'm not getting rid of it. Um, I'm keeping it forever. I probably should maybe should order another one though because this case is going through it right now. Hmm. Maybe they still have it. Um, sorry, I'm like moving stuff around. Next is this Twilight palette. I did a look using this recently, so you guys have checked it out. This is um, something from I believe AliExpress, but I actually like this palette. I told you guys in that video it reminds me of the the Huda Beauty one. It is quite similar but it is you know some of the shades are different 
I don't really know about the pigment on that one, but I did mention this in a previous video, so I'll have that video linked down below as well as um, when I swatched a lot of the shades in here. But this is a really pretty palette. I'm definitely going to use this a lot more, um, but I really, really like this one. Um, it's like 10 bucks. I'll have it linked down below, but I liked a lot of the shades in here, knock off or not. Um, the pigment was actually really, really good. Next is um, the next couple palettes that I'm going to show you guys I haven't really used yet. This one is the Brown Sugar Palette. Um, it was the collab preview she did with ColourPop. Um, I haven't used this one yet. I did swatch it on my like the colors but the colors look super pretty um but i haven't used this yet so i need to pull this out and actually use it um but it's a nine pan super cute super pretty great for packaging it's lightweight it's kind of like you know cheaply made it is you know just classic i mean it's color pop like we can't keep expecting color pop to do high end because that's not what color pop is so i think a lot of people complain about their packaging but it's like their price point isn't a luxury brand price point you know what I mean so the plasticness of it doesn't bother me because it's color pop it's you know meant to be inexpensive so we need to like lower our standards a little bit when it comes to color pop because at the end of the day it is meant to, like they can't be spending all their money do you do you want pretty packaging or you want pigment like come on um, sorry, just went on a rant there because I saw a lot of people complain oh it's so cheap it's so plastic Carisha you need to do better like girl but the pigments on these are really good when I swatch them so I definitely want to pull this out and use it um, some of these shades look just super enticing to me like sorrow looks like a beautiful transition color chalk um, just a great great color really nice kind of you know mix to me I'll try it in the upcoming look one day this one is the wet palette another color pop one it was a collab with Bretman rock I haven't used this one yet at all um, it's like some really nice cool blue tone type of shades um, I haven't used it yet so I'm not going to talk too much about it this one is the lit palette the other one that was the collab with Bretman rock um, this one's a pretty one I need to actually keep this one to the front because it's kind of like you know giving me winter-ish fall actually it's kind of more fall vibes but I need to pull it out anyway because I haven't used it and this is the one that I was drawn to originally um, 8 pan by ColourPop. That's another palette. Um, actually, the last of these are actually ColourPop. Um, this one is the Perception palette with ColourPop. This is the collab with Makeup by Shayla. Um, I haven't got a chance to use this one, I don't think. Um, but oh, did I? I don't know. I think I swatched it, but I didn't get a chance to use it. Um, I liked a lot of the mattes that were down here. Like, these three were just so up my alley. Love the shade. That's really why I got it, besides the fact it was Makeup by Shayla. But the colors um, really spoke to me. Um, so, yeah. Definitely like that one. This one is another collab that ColourPop did with Karuchi. It's the She Palette. I just love the packaging on this, which is why I originally bought it. Plus, it was on sale at some point. And these are the shades. They're kind of like rosy toned shades. Not shades that I use that often, but I like to keep stuff like this for when like I have to do other people's makeup or someone comes to my house and I'm doing the makeup and I want to try something out on them. Um, I like to keep stuff like this because it gives me, you know, options. Um, but they do have a few, like, pretty nice lid colors that I would use in here, but I haven't actually used it yet. And then this one is the Through My Eyes palette. This is the, um, the most recent one that I got from ColourPop. It's another collab with the YouTuber. This is the I Love Sarah collab. Um, and I actually used this one today to do this makeup look. Um, so I don't know which video is going to be up first. Whichever one. I love that it has a really large mirror. That's bomb. But um, besides that, um, the colors are very pretty. Definitely pigmented. Definitely like this one. I don't know if this look went up first or if this video is going up first. Whichever it is, it will be linked down in the description box for this makeup look. Um, lastly, in this particular bin is my Colored Rain Vivid Pigments and Shadows palette. Um, I'll show you guys cover. Um, a lot of these, I think a lot of these are pressed pigments. Super bright rainbow colors. Love this one. Haven't gotten a chance to use it yet, um, but I love the colors and I wanted to snag it during like that, um, the holiday when they were had like ColourPop, not ColourPop, who is this? Color Rain. They have like a lot of sales and they had a really good sale in this, so that's why I picked it up. But I probably will start using this a lot in the summer. Um, but it has a really nice, it's all matte. 
um, pig, some of them are pressed pigments, some of them are shadows. Nonetheless, they are all super pretty, super beautiful. Um, so I will make sure to do a video once that's up, but I have not used this one yet. And that is in for the second bin. Okay, the next bin that I have is from Juvia's Place. So like I told you guys before, I'm kind of going to breeze through the Juvia's Place ones because I have a video, um, an in-depth video about these. Um, so first is the Nubian palette. This one um, looks like this. A lot of neutral tone shades, but um, one of the first ones that I've ever bought from Juvia's Place. The next one that I have is the Saharan palette by Juvia's Place. Another pretty neutral with some colors and you know pops of color and things like that in it really nice palette um i love the size of these um particular ones i do like larger pans and things like that but the juvia's place i don't know they just always work for me because they're always coming out with new palettes so i kind of like the size of them because i i know that i'm gonna buy all of them so yeah this one is the afrique palette um love this one as well a lot of pretty bright colors if you guys are into that nice palette I just, like I said I have another video going into detail about each of these this one is the Dolce palette I haven't used this one too often it has a lot of pretty colors um, actually a lot of colors that would use a blush and things like that um, and contour shade we're having a pretty contour I wonder <laughs> um, but really nice shade the only thing with this palette is I didn't think a lot of the colors kind of went together but I guess you know Julia's place it's all it's all the vibe like they're going for a particular vibe when it's a particular palette so that's the vibe they were going for I just wasn't feeling the vibe you know so this one is the Zulu palette this is one of my favorites um, for like bright colors because they have some really beautiful colors very bright a few rainbow colors in here um, I like this one a lot <laughs> this one is the festival palette that's the next one that's pretty I love the packaging on I mean on all of it but this is one of my favorites mm -hmm. all right, so all right. so this is this palette I like this palette it has some pretty colors I haven't actually used this in a while I think I used it a couple times when it first came out a lot of times when I buy like Juvia's Paste palettes I don't always use them right away um, just because I don't be going to where we do my makeup so I haven't used it you know it's not on purpose this one oh this was one of my favorites still one of my favorites the warrior palette oh love it these are kind of like the size pants that I like the past couple ones I showed you love this palette so pretty love the pigment on it super neutral this like this I can take with me somewhere because I can get some looks it has you know a few mattes in here which I can work with to create like a simple look bomb love it this one is the warrior 2 palette this is an all matte palette I believe this is the only all matte palette that they do have I actually love this one a lot because it's definitely versatile and I can kind of complement any of the other palettes with this one and this row right here great for blush so that um, sorry I'm going through these fast but I already told you what the, what the tea was on that this one is the Saharan 2 palette so I'll show you real quick this was the Saharan 1 this is Saharan 2 um, and I guess they made it a little bigger in this one but this is the Saharan 2 love this packaging as well this was actually one of my favorites as well um, also because a lot of the shades that I did use as blush especially like these two I love like stuff like that um, cause it kind of helps for like traveling and things like that. But I like this palette a lot. Another one of my favorite. I don't even want to say another one of my favorites when it comes to Juvia's Place because I like a lot of their stuff so much. Um, this one is the newest palette that they've come out with. Depending on when this video goes up. This one is the Tri Palette. So pretty. Love greens. Love, um, how these colors are together. I really, really enjoy this palette i think i did a look i actually did do a look using this palette so i will have a video with that up somewhere throughout the video um like in the eye or down below i'll have it so you guys can check it out after this video this is the masquerade palette this is the mini version um the larger version is just big and it has the big pans but it still has all the same shades um love this palette as well super pretty a lot of bright colors just 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 beautiful Juvia's Place just always does a really good job like 
aesthetically like just beautiful this one is the Nubian 2 palette so I'll show you this is Nubian 1 this one's Nubian 2 um, love this one too this was definitely more like of a neutral esque person who was looking for like who was looking to step in and get a little color going on um so i really like this palette it was super pretty a lot of just great colors Ugh. a lot of colors i can use from blush too so and then the last one from you this place is the magic palette this is a, the only big one that i purchased and i only bought the big one because they didn't have a mini version i don't know if they still do you have a mini version now? If they do, I'll probably go on and buy that. But um, I do like the eyeshadow pants though with this side, but I just kind of wish they were more like, you know, I don't know, like the nine pans. I don't know, but nice palette. I like this one a lot too. Another one of my favorites. Um, this is definitely like a must have for me. Like, love this palette. Um, so that's it for the Juvia's Place ones. Now, the last bin that I have uh, eyeshadow palettes are my Morphe palettes. Um, those are obviously larger because a lot of their palettes are like 12 pans or more. So I'm going to be jumping into those. And the first one, this is this is this one this is the your true selfie palette i believe this was their holiday collection of 2018 one of their palettes this is what that one looks like super pretty i actually haven't even used it yet honestly guys i haven't used it yet but i was really drawn to this color i think i saw lanye use this in her video and i really liked um the look that she did and i was really drawn to this particular one i think they had two palettes that came out with this you know holiday collection uh, but this was the one that I was really really interested to and I do like the packaging on here um, I feel like this is one you can travel with but you know nonetheless this one is the 35 old palette this is like I think a cult favorite I think a lot of people was like hyping this one up and I understood why it was a good palette this is what it looks like this is the 35 uh, 02 palette. I'll show you the guy, the 35 old palette in a minute. Um, I really do like this palette. I love a lot of the transition shades, the bright reds, the nice orange kind of earthy tones. So I did like this palette. Um, I'm going to show you guys the 35 old palette really quickly and I'm just going to like give you a thought. So this one is the 35 old palette. So this is the 35 old palette. Um, I like this one, but just like if I was just looking at both of these side by side, I would be drawn to this one, the 3502 um, palette, because the, those transition colors are just breathtaking. This one's kind of like, yeah, it's a good palette. I like it. I used it a lot when I did get it. Um, but when I got the 35, this one, the two, I was like, yeah, I like that one a lot better. Um, not that this one is bad, but if you guys are like, don't want to buy both or you you know whatever the 3502 I would say get that one because I feel like it's just prettier I don't know whether I just explain it this one is the 35 F palette by Morphe um this one I really enjoyed as well I loved a lot of the nice um deep purples and things like that um I like this one a lot it had some cool shades which is fine I didn't, the only thing I didn't care for is that a lot of the transition colors I didn't really mess with. I just kind of messed with like this last four here. But a lot of the shimmer shades were so pretty. I think only the bottom row is um, matte. The rest of the palette is all like satiny or kind of shimmery shades, which I did like. And I liked a lot of the shimmer shades, especially this purple right here, this gold, this kind of bronzy shade, this deeper bronzy shade. Really nice palette. This is the 35F palette. I believe it was like the fall palette or something like that um this one is the 35p um so i don't show you guys the inside the outside of the morphe ones because they're all similar i use this one a lot i think i have a look using this one before if i do i'll have it linked um very pretty palette obviously the focus was kind of purpley and then colors that would coincide with purple um so this was a really pretty palette i use this one a whole lot i i use it a good amount of time because i love purple eye looks it's super pretty um these like just it went well together so i did like this one a lot next is the 35k palette 
by Morphe. So I bought this particular palette when the 35.0 first came out and it was like just kept being sold out. So I'm like, what the hell? So I found this one on their site. It's the 35K. Um, I like this one. It had a lot of cool tones and stuff down here, which I wasn't like a big fan of, but I was really a big fan of whatever shade this is right here as a transition, as well as this one. I was obsessed with those shades. A lot of nice browns and kind of complementary colors. They had some pretty satins, but I didn't use them too much. This gold was very pretty right here on the end. Um, not my favorite. It was my favorite before I got the 3502 and the 3502 palette. But once I got those, I kind of, kind of like chucked this one to the side. Well, not chucked it. I, like I have it. I just didn't use it as much anymore. This one is a really old skew palette. This is the Sedona Lace um, 88 Metal palette. It looks like this. I think they still have this. I don't know. This was when I first started getting into shimmers because I was really not into shimmers in the beginning. Um, and their pants look like this. I mean, I remember you guys know back in the day when I used to use this. Like, if you've been following me for a long time, um, I used to use a lot of eyeshadow palettes from Sedona Lace. And they came like this, like the 88 color ones. Um, this has a, a lot of, a lot, a lot of colors. Um, a little intimidating. A lot of colors that I kind of already have in my Morphe palettes. So, I don't really grab for this one anymore. I probably need to give it away, but I just don't want to. Next is the Morphe 24G Grand Glam Palette. I actually love the packaging on this. I wish they would just do all of them like this from now on because I love how these are packaged. Um, but this is a 24 pan. I love the pan sizes on these. Um, these are this color. So online I was really intrigued, but I feel like when I got it, I was like, eh, it's okay, I guess. But I do like it. It's pretty. A lot of great shimmer colors. I love the pan sizes. I love pan sizes like these. Super big. Um, but I do. I, I don't know. I just haven't used it yet. I think I'm going to play with it a little bit, little bit. Let me know if you guys want me to see a look doing using this palette. I just haven't. I haven't used it yet. It's just. I'm, it's like usually when I get some palettes. I'm usually like motivated. Like oh. I have a look. But I haven't had that yet but I'm definitely gonna play with it because this is one of the newer palettes that I bought and I haven't used it yet um, lastly was like the hit of 2018 the Morphe and James Carbs James Carbs James Charles collab um, the Unleash Your Inner Artist palette I you know you guys do mixed reviews on these I love it um, I love the concept. I love the payoff. I mean, if you're a makeup artist or an artist in general, like, I hate to use the word make it work, so you should never have to make it work. It should just work. But at the end of the day, this palette is great if you understand the concept of pressed pigments. If you don't understand the concept of pressed pigments and you aren't, like, a, you know, professional artist or even just a whatever like I can't even think of the word but if you know how to work with pressed pigments you, you shouldn't really have any complaints about this palette I liked it I enjoy it um, a lot of like these shades right here in the middle the bigger pans really impressed me that he had like pretty much like one two three like these shades right here just love 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 just so pretty um, the pinks and purple I did a look using a lot of the pinks and purple so I won't try to have that look um, down below I will try and do like a neutral look using this palette because I don't think I did a neutral look using this palette um, I want to try and kind of do a look on each kind of category like these are kind of neutrals these are like orangey reds you know these are kind of like cooler tone neutrals these are greens blues purples um, but I'm definitely gonna get some more use out of this in 2019 and you guys will definitely see more looks with me using it because I do like the palette like it was legit I liked it um, yeah, so that's it for my eyeshadow palettes. Those are all the eyeshadow palettes that I have to date. Um, I do, um, I do like watching videos like this. So I definitely wanted to do mine, um, because I feel like I have a lot of oldies and I feel like, um, you know, I just, you know, why not? I like it. I liked, um, there are a lot of palettes that I'm going through and I was going through and I'm like, hmm, I need to get back into using that. So that's another reason to, like, I did this video because I have a lot of palettes that I haven't even, you know, looked at in a long time. But 
other than that I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Let me know some of your favorite palettes and put them down below. Also, if you guys you know, saw me mention a palette and you guys wanna see me do a look, then definitely leave that down in the comment section so that I can you know, try and get to that and it'll kinda of inspire me a little bit to actually use some of the ones that I haven't even touched yet. Um, so, I hope you guys enjoy and I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for stopping in and checking out my channel. And yeah, bye.